All right, I want to do like a little back testing recording. I will be live for back testing tomorrow as well. I've been back testing a lot, but basically, what I want to do is I want to go into NASDAQ and um, we're just going to go into a random year, random contract code. We're going to go NQH. Let's do like 2017. Let's do 2017. Just a random date. It's a random date. And what I've been doing is I've been back testing this a lot today. And I kind of want to build conviction with this because it's been quite, um, quite um, breathtaking, honestly. Uh, so basically, it's a new week opening gap indicator. And these are my settings for it that I'm using for this study. Um, I used the previous 100 and then the previous 100 uh, new day opening gaps. I know it's a lot and there's a lot here. I want to uh, get... I want to refine these and make them a little bit better, but I've been noticing that pretty much majority of the time, highs and lows of the days are going to be off of new week opening gaps. And if we compare this with other confluences, like that will be key. So honestly, today I have just been going into my charts and just looking at these new week opening gaps and new day opening gaps just to see what levels we're respecting. I, but if you were able to pair this like all ICD concepts with other things, then that's, then that's going to lead to ultimate precision. So as you see here, I'm on a seven minute chart and I've just found that I, I, for some reason, all these new week opening gaps and new day opening gaps tend to hold on the seven minute chart. And therefore, you, we can just go through more data. So we're just going to go through data here and we're just going to see, we're just going to back test this. We're just going to see what ends up happening here. As you see this day, um, we have a change of state delivery here on this. Well, obviously this is a seven minute chart. I never use the seven minute chart. So it's going to be a little bit different in terms of delivery. But as you see here, we have a Judas swing lower and then we and we uh, take come up and we take buy side and we end up breaking down. So this would be a, a nice sell day that we end up having within the market. And then right here, we, I would choose, it's not as clear. I wish I had a different, I wish I would use a different time frame, but I just only want to use a seven minute time frame. And we're just going to look at this. So we're just going to say last up close candle with the biggest body here. We'll, we'll just classify that as an order block because it's probably a better order block on another time frame. The price is changing state delivery. We've displaced lower and now we're coming back up and then we're claiming this gap as support here. And then we end up displacing lower, lower day right there. Boom. And look at where we end up referring right back to at four. Right there. All right, here is the next day. Next day, next day of price action. 9.30, we end up, we're, we're right around these new day opening gaps here. We displace lower. We create, create a wick, but more or less look at the bodies. Where are the bodies? They're at a new day opening gap. We come up repriced to this new day, new week opening. The green, the green are new week opening gaps. And we come back down. New day opening gap, displaced lower, constant approach of a new day opening gap, boom, constant approach of a new, new day opening gap, come back up, new week opening gap, and then the market's in a hurry. Where do we close? At four. At four, we close right here, right at this new day opening gap. So as we can see, like already within two days, these levels are getting respected perfectly. And although, yeah, you, you, you say, oh, we're, we're right here. We're going to go to the buy side. There has to be narrative around it as well. And this has just been something I just want to bring. I just want to just back test this and just just look at this. Because, like, look, look at this level. You, you cannot deny this. Look at this level. Get supported there. Support. 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 Like, new day opening gaps are going to be true support and resistance. And we come, ooh, where, where, do we, where do we end up displacing from here? And then where, where, where do we end up stopping? Where do we end up stopping? Right here. Like look at the look at this look at the sensitivity around these levels. Very powerful. And look where where do we close? Right here. We close at a new day opening gap. So that's three days in a row that we've closed at new day opening gaps. Here market opens. Here we draw down. Judas swing lower into new day opening gap. Then we push higher. Where do we go? New week opening gap. We take buy side liquidity. New, new week opening gap. Then we have fair value gap in, fair value gap out. We're now in sell side delivery. We're now in a sell model. So where are we going to look to reprice to? A, a new week opening gap or a new day opening gap. And then we end up reaccumulating within this new day opening gap. Boom. Straight straight to sell side. Where do we end up closing? So we end up closing around right here. It, not in a new day opening gap. So we did not close the day in a new day opening gap or a new week opening gap on this day. All right. And here we have. Next day, market opens right here. We push up new day, new new day opening up right here. Fair value gap, 
probably maybe a break around some time frame. Granted, I'm only using the seven. We're only using the seven minute time frame here. You know, displacing lower. Where new, new week opening gap? Then we we probably have some order block right there. You know, pushing higher, falling just shy of this. I we we might do we end up drawing into that? Just like a tick shy there. For rag up in, for rag up out. You know, displacing lower. Where do we close the day? We close the day within a new week opening, new day opening gap. All right, next day within the market. 9.30 opens here. Rebalance this imbalance, push up to buy side. We, we take buy side here, displace lower, reaccumulate and then redistribute in the new week day opening gap. Where do we go? <laughs> Constant encroachment. Change state delivery, reaccumulation, reaccumulation. And then as we see here, we don't really refer back to a new day opening gap here. We don't refer back to a new day opening gap there at all. Okay, where's the next day? Wait, was that Thursday? Okay, so it's Wednesday. All right, so as we see Wednesday, uh, 9.30 opens, and we actually don't end up drawing into a new day opening gap. We don't. We fall shy of it. We end up displacing higher, and then there's no new day opening gap or new week opening gap to refer to. I want to pull up ES here. Uh, I want to see if ES possibly drew into a new day opening gap or new week opening gap. What day is it? Wednesday, March 1st. Our ES does not either. ES doesn't either. Look at where we where we put a look at where we reprice to. Look at where we reprice to. Let's see if we can uh let's see this standard deviation projection real quick while we're here. Like wow. Wow. Like that's powerful. <laughs> that's that's that's, that's lovely. All right, 930 opens here. Okay, we end up uh, cause for encroachment. And we end up creating a wick. Okay, you might have got enticed. You might have got enticed. You might have looked to take a long here. You're like, oh, we're going to go to this new new day opening gap. We have buy side that rests right above that. That would have been a good draw on liquidity. Okay, you, you might have you might have taken a loss here. That's part of the game. Okay, say, say you took a loss. Like, we, like I, we're, I'm just going over this like just by being a robot. Just by being a robot. But we know that there's other confluences that we can use that we're that we're not a robot. Maybe we have SMT at these highs. Maybe we haven't changed state delivery. Maybe there was no uh, entry on the lower time frame to even engage in. So then we end up displacing lower, reaccumulate. So, say say you took an entry here. Say you took an entry here. Maybe you got stopped. Okay, cool, cool. That, that's part of it. Then we end up repricing to a to a new day new week opening gap. Fall short of this one. And then this new week opening gap gets respected. Then where do we end up closing? We end up closing just above. We're kind of. I, I wish I could have it go in a one minute chart, but you know you know how trade bait is, or no <laughs> trade bait. You know how trade view is. Uh, it like freaks out whenever you try to switch time frame. All right, where's nine thirty? Okay, nine thirty is right here. Constant encroachment. Constant encroachment. New day opening gap. What do we refer to? Where we close, right here. New day opening gap. Eight o'clock accumulates within there. We leave buy side right above constant encroachment of a new day, new new week opening gap. Reaccumulation re within this imbalance, or sorry, within this new day opening gap. Where we close, close in the middle of no man's land here. Well, I need a. I'm going to do this. I'm going to replay it here. There might be some different gaps that aren't seen. Okay. All right, here, Thursday, we have probably CPI. We probably have some. No, that would be 930 news. CPI would be at 830. I, this is just market open. Market open, and reprice is lower. Reaccumulate, where? Where, 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 where do we put, where do we put the, where, where? 
Like it's, it's absolutely insane. And I, this might be like the missing piece for me, but also like, as you can see there, there's just, there, there's a lot to it. Like wh which one do I refer to? Which one do I use? Which one do I want to use? Like it's, that's what I don't like about it is cause there, there, there can be a lot, especially when there's a lot of new, new day opening gaps and new week opening gaps within the chart. But hopefully this is just a nice case study and like, I'll continue to back test this. As you see, boom, it gets repriced right too. I'll continue to back test this and I will, like here, we, we have a, bu a bunch of this and then we have a huge new day opening. I think this is from my contract switch, switching the contract codes. As you see here, like which one do I use? There, there's so many, That that's what I'm saying. And right here, 930, boom, coming up buy side oh it's, it's just it's just beautiful it's beautiful a20 a20 th th this this is high high impact news likely i want i want to go to an nfp day like even here perfect perfect this should be NFP. Oh yeah, that is NFP. But like, look at where NFP delivers. Look at where NFP delivers. This is a random date. This is a random contract code. Look, let's go. To, let's try to find another NFP date. Let's do a random one. Let's let's do like twenty. Let's do like twenty twelve. Let's do twenty twelve. Let's do NQZ twenty twelve. Let's just do a random NFP date. Random. Hopefully, uh, contracts move like this. All right, first Friday of this month. Let's look at NFP. And let's look at like high impact news as well. Where's nine, not high impact news revolve around? Uh, a random level over here. Where, where do we deliver right to? New, 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 new day opening gap. Like it's, I mean, it's, it's also like this is what I'm saying. Like there's so many, there's so much on this chart. So we're like, oh, of course it went to that level because there, there's so many, so many, um, so there's so many on the chart. So I'm, I'm going to continue to back test this. So I'm going to filter out. Oh, sorry. Was this? This is NFP. Yeah, NFP. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I, I found that a lot of the news drivers refer like directly to, to these. And like if you compare this with standard deviation, you get pretty, pretty close to your highs and lows of the day. Like obviously, it's it's not enough just to say, "Hey, we have a we have a new week opening gap, so therefore we're just gonna head to buy side." Oh, wait, let's look at this NFP. Let's look at. I oh, know that'd be December. All right, I wanna I wanna look at this NFP because NFP is tends to be a, a manipulation, a very manip manipulative news event. Like just, just, just look at this. So how how I how I discovered this was, I actually was was doing a back test on stream and. I was like, there, there was a news event that I was like, hey, there has to be, I feel like there's a new day opening gap. So then I went to my charts and I actually did the same thing where I did a lot of these. And then the later today, I saw a tweet by Disciplined Trader on Twitter and he was talking about new day opening gaps. And I'm like, wait, hold up. New day opening gaps. All right, here's, I think this is NFP. Where does it get delivered straight to? New day opening gap right there. Uh, isn't there a news? News. It's by like two degrees or something. Was this NFP? Yeah. Okay. Look. Look. Look at NFP. Look at NFP. Where? Where? Where is NFP?
deliver straight to. It's just, it's just perfect. Let, let's just do another one. Let's just do another one. Let's do 2014. And then let's do NQ M. Random month. All right, so we have CPI on Tuesday here. Where is CPI at? Right here. New day opening out. Okay. Oh, this is... Wait, I think this is just how it, that contract moves. I think that's how it moved back then. It's a lot cleaner now. All right, so we have PPI on Friday. PPI on Friday. Look, 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 look. All right, what was this? Was this news? Thursday the 5th. Oh, wait, NFP Friday. Let, let's just see what NFP does. I wish it could go faster. I messed up. Alright, so here... No. Wait, that... Sorry, that's what I thought I was looking at when I was looking at PPI. That was NFP. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm tweaking. Maybe, I think I'm tweaking. <laughs> Look here. Look here. Boom. Boom, boom. Like, as, like, it's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look, look. This is in 2014. This is in 2014. Boom, boom. Boom. Like, <laughs> that's like high, low. Like, integrate that with your bias. Boom. Like, uh, I, I, I was like just looking at my charts for out, like, I was so shocked. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. And like I will say, like something like this can can get you caught up. Can get you caught up. And that's that's what I wanna kinda figure out. And that, that I'll continue to backtest that and we'll continue to backtest that in our live streams. It's just like using this but also not getting too caught up in like, hey, there's a new day opening up here. We hit constant encroachment, so we're just going to go to buy side now. No, that's not always how it's going to be. And I think that just the way that I have seen it, it works good with Judas Swings, looking at possible Judas Swings in the market um, with standard deviation projections, possible over ex overextended, like are we in a deep premium? Could we possibly be making the high a day here? Just forecasting things like that, and then – like high impact news, high impact news, where we're gonna have manipulation, the algorithm's gonna reprice these levels. So let, let's let's just look at this for uh, let's just let's just let's just look at it for a little bit longer here. All right, what type of? Okay, I wanna uh, yeah, I wanna do FOMC. I wanna do FOMC. I wanna do I wanna see a date with FOMC. Uh, okay, hold up. Let me let me let me let me look up this real quick. FOMC dates, meetings, 2014. We're in May, we're in May. March 19th. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just a master class here. Sorry, hold up. I'm trying to see if I can find it. I think we're past that. Let's see if we run into FOMC. This could be FOMC. I don't I don't think so. Maybe? It 
the CPI day. Like, oh, look at look look look. Oh my gosh. All right, I think that, I think that's gonna be it. We, we might back test this on stream, some at some point, but yeah, uh, de definitely something to add to my repertoire for sure. But also, not something that you can overextend your welcome when you, it's it's not gonna be there. So let me let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys uh, changed your life like I did this morning. I'll see you guys in the next one and peace out. I don't know why I said all that. Let me know if you like this. We know damn well you're gonna say if you like the video. Even if you didn't like the video, I don't care. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. We'll be back.